Elon Musk just dropped a battery bombshell. Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion cell is reportedly pushing past 420 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram in internal testing, a number so far beyond today's LFP's 165 watt-hours per kilogram, and even CATL's next-gen sodium packs, hovering around 140 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram that it could rewrite the EV market overnight. If these figures hold, we're looking at a cell that charges nearly four times faster, survives over 10,000 cycles, and eliminates the bottlenecks that kept EV prices stuck for the last three years. So here's the real question. What happens to the EV you plan to buy if Tesla suddenly introduces a battery that lasts a million kilometers, cuts pack weight by 35 to 40 kilograms, and slashes production cost by replacing lithium with aluminum? a metal that's 30 times more abundant and mined in far more stable supply regions? Could this finally be the moment Tesla crushes the low-cost wave from BYD and forces a full-scale battery reset across the industry? And more importantly, what does it mean for your charging habits, long-trip performance, and long-term maintenance? We're unpacking all of that in today's deep dive. And if you're new here, welcome to Auto Gear Shift. If you want EV analysis that hits with the force of a 600 newton meter motor instead of the fluff other channels pump out, this is your place. We're on the road to 16,611 subscribers, and your one click can push us over the line. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and upgrade your Tesla news feed to performance mode. How will Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion push? finally end drivers' energy density fears. For years, energy density has been the quiet fear at the center of every EV purchase decision. Drivers might not express it in technical terms, but the concern is simple and universal. Will the battery be strong enough, light enough, and long-lasting enough to match the freedom of gasoline? Most mainstream EV packs today sit anywhere between 140 and 260 watt-hours per kilogram and that limitation echoes directly into daily life. Heavier cars, reduced range in cold weather, more energy loss at highway speeds, and charging stops that feel too frequent on long trips. It's the reason many buyers still hesitate, even as EV technology improves. That's why the leaked 2026 Tesla aluminum ion numbers hit so hard. If Tesla truly targets 420 to 500 watt hours per kilogram, the jump isn't just technical. It directly attacks every pain point EV owners complain about. Compared to LFP's 165 watt-hours per kilogram, or Nissan's older graphite-based packs stuck around 150 watt-hours per kilogram, aluminum ion essentially erases the weight penalty that has defined EV driving for a decade. A typical 60 kilowatt-hour LFP pack weighs 370 to 390 kilograms. An aluminum ion version delivering the same usable capacity could land near 240 kilograms, cutting more than 130 kilograms from a compact sedan. Range anxiety, the biggest emotional barrier, shifts too. At 420 watt hours per kilogram, Tesla could achieve 700 plus kilometers real world range without upsizing the pack or redesigning the chassis push toward 500 watt-hours per kilogram on higher trims, and you're looking at range figures matching or beating long-distance hybrids. The problem with current EVs is not that they can't hit these numbers. It's that they require oversized packs that add weight, cost, and heat stress. Aluminum ion removes that compromise entirely. But the biggest fear among drivers isn't actually range, it's degradation. Many EV owners notice range dropping after three or four years, especially in nickel-rich cells that can lose 10 to 15% in harsher climates or heavy fast-charging usage. Aluminum ions projected 8,000 to 10,000 cycles changes that equation. Even charging once daily, that's over 20 years of use before meaningful aging. For a commuter driving 20,000 kilometers per year, the battery could last 800,000 to 1 million kilometers, far beyond the lifespan of most cars on the road today. Charging time also directly ties to the energy density concern. 
Lower density cells heat quickly under fast charging and often throttle to protect themselves. That's why affordable LFP models cap around 120 to 150 kilowatts, forcing long wait times. But aluminum ions internal conductivity profile suggests Tesla could push compact EVs to 250 to 300 kilowatts sustained, meaning a 10 minute stop could deliver 350 to 400 kilometers of usable range. For drivers still unsure if they can take an EV on a spontaneous weekend trip, that's the kind of real-world benefit that shifts emotion, not just numbers. And finally, the cost fear. Drivers worry that higher performance cells will always mean higher prices. But aluminum is 30 times more abundant than lithium and mined across stable supply regions like Australia, Canada, Europe, and the US. The shift to an aluminum-heavy supply chain means Tesla isn't just chasing performance, it's chasing price stability. In a market where lithium carbonate has swung from $70,000 per ton down to under $15,000 in just two years, stability is a feature consumers desperately want, even if they don't say it out loud. Which feature excites you the most about Tesla's aluminum ion battery? Comment, A for range, B for speed, C for longevity, D for cost. Don't forget to share why you picked that one in the comments below. How would aluminum ion trigger the first true sub $25,000 next-gen EV? If aluminum ion hits production in 2026, the biggest shockwave won't come from range or charging speed. It will come from cost. For years, battery economics have been the ceiling that prevented Tesla from breaking through the mass market barrier. Even with scale, a typical lithium-based pack still costs Tesla around $85 to $100 per kilowatt hour for LFP and $110 to $130 per kilowatt hour for nickel-rich cells depending on commodity cycles. That's why a truly compelling sub-$25,000 Tesla has remained a promise rather than a product. Aluminum ion changes that math in a way no lithium chemistry ever could. Aluminum isn't just abundant, it's localized. The United States alone produced roughly 1.5 million metric tons of primary aluminum last year, with another 4 million tons coming from Canada and Australia, two regions where Tesla already has supplier relationships. By comparison, lithium supply chains span salt flats in South America, hard rock mines in Africa, and refining bottlenecks in China all of which add cost and geopolitical fragility. Replacing lithium with aluminum could cut raw material volatility by as much as 70 to 80 percent over a decade, simply because aluminum pricing has been stable in a narrow band for years. And this matters because the most expensive part of any EV is the cathode. With aluminum ions projected material configuration, Tesla could theoretically push pack cost down to the $50 to $60 per kilowatt hour range, a level previously thought impossible without sodium ions compromises. At $60 per kilowatt hour, a 60 kilowatt hour pack costs $3,600 instead of today's approximately $5,400 to $6,000. Extend that to a global production scale and Tesla suddenly unlocks the margin necessary to build a $23,000 to $25,000 compact model without sacrificing performance or range. This compresses the competitive space dramatically. BYD currently leads the sub $25,000 market with its Seagull and Dolphin variants running on Blade LFP. Those packs cost around $55 to $65 per kilowatt hour in China, because of BYD's vertical integration advantage, something no Western automaker has matched. But if Tesla's aluminum ion delivers both cost parity and superior energy density, the Seagull's 405 km range and modest 70 kW charging suddenly look dated. A $25,000 Tesla offering 600 plus kilometers of real world range and 10 to 12 minute fast charging would reset global expectations for what an entry level EV can be. A key difference is packaging freedom. Because aluminum ion packs could weigh 130 to 150 kilograms less than LFP at the same capacity, Tesla could either shrink the vehicle footprint for urban markets 
or increase structural rigidity without adding mass. This has direct implications for insurance ratings, crash scores, and agility. Areas where affordable EVs often compromise. A lighter base structure also allows Tesla to use a lower-cost steel mix instead of exotic alloys while keeping handling sharp, something that's currently impossible in heavy LFP-based budget cars. Production logistics shift too. Tesla's gigacasting strategy thrives when pack weight is reduced, because the stamped body can use thinner cross members while still maintaining stiffness. With aluminum ion likely pairing naturally with Tesla's structural pack system, the company could cut manufacturing steps even further, potentially dropping the body in white to as few as 40 to 45 parts, down from the industry's typical 300 to 400. That level of simplification is how Model Y production in Giga, Texas outpaced established automakers with half the labor hours. But the biggest implication is psychological. For the first time, Tesla could combine premium-level range and budget-level pricing. Today, buyers feel forced to choose. Long range means paying more, affordability means compromise. Aluminum ion breaks that duality. It's the first chemistry where cost, longevity, and performance rise together instead of pulling against each other. This is why analysts describe aluminum ion not as a battery upgrade, but as a platform reset. It gives Tesla a realistic path to reclaim leadership in the affordable EV market, a segment it lost to BYD in 2023 to 2025, while simultaneously pulling ahead of Western competitors stuck with legacy lithium supply chains. Tesla's aluminum ion plans could change everything you thought you knew about EVS, lighter packs, crazy range, super fast charging, and maybe even prices that finally make sense. It's the kind of jump that could make your next car choice way easier. What about you? Would a 700 kilometer range and 10 minute charging stop finally get you to ditch your gas car? And if Tesla really hits a sub $25,000 price tag with aluminum ion battery, would you pull the trigger immediately? If you liked this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our deep dive Tesla updates. Your support keeps us bringing the news that actually matters to drivers like you.